I guess it began around 2008, the decision was made to uh, step into compressed natural gas. We could have purchased vehicles, however, there was really no infrastructure in the city of Columbus. So uh, in working in tandem with Clean Fuels Ohio and through an ERA grant, we were able to secure, I think it was about a $1.2 million grant, and that enabled us to do both at the same time. What it means for the environment is certainly that our fuel is, well, about 70 to 80 percent cleaner than what was previously used. Another real benefit with compressed natural gas is it pretty consistently is about half the price of diesel. So our savings is pretty significant for every large piece of equipment that we convert. This CNG station is easy to get in and out. It doesn't take long to fuel. Compared to other little stations, I'll sit there for 30 minutes or so trying to get fuel. This one has great pressure. So we sized the station for maximum fill rates, time on task fueling, and it's kind of simple in a way. Our goal is we want people that to fuel their CNG vehicles as fast as they were their unleaded or their diesel vehicles in the same amount of time. That was a, a natural progression for us to become active with Clean Fuels Ohio. Start attending the meetings, starting to learn. You know, Queen Fields, Ohio has been an invaluable resource to the City of Columbus Fleet Management Division to keep up on, on the new technology out there. I love coming to work because I'm learning something new every day, especially with this CNG, and this is the way to go. First of all, when they come in, it's a whole lot quieter. Um, second of all, um, oil changes are not as often because we're getting a lot more mileage out of the oil because it's not as dirty with that diesel. They're real similar to a gasoline engine with spark plugs and how the ignition system works. As far as the maintenance, it's pretty similar to anything else they got. So just the main thing is they had to add into that tank inspection. It seems to be a real clean gas. It seems to do well in winter. We haven't had really any main issues with starting. By 2020, we'll have well over you know, hundreds and hundreds of CNG trucks. That would really have a bottleneck for us to do maintenance in a small part of our shop. So we kind of made the decision to do the whole truck shop. So thankfully our lighting, everything was good with our lighting. We had to add some exhaust fans. We had to replace our uh, ceiling mounted uh, heaters and they are now located outside and ducked into the building. And it's domestically available fuel. So we're getting off of this, off of this foreign oil dependency and the Marcellus shale, all of the things that are happening with the availability of natural gas throughout the state of Ohio, it's a wonderful story and it fits very, very well for the city of Columbus.